And back here in the borderland, heartbreak continues because of the war. It's now bringing back some painful memories for the last Holocaust survivor here in El Paso. Our KTSM 9 news reporter Shelby Cap speaking with that survivor and shares his story. I want to emphasize that this goes on with the Jewish people for thousands of years. But we thank God we're still here. And this, we're gonna somehow this problem gonna get solved. How I don't know, but somehow it's gonna get solved. Holocaust survivor Tibor Schatzner watching President Biden speak from his living room in El Paso. This is terrorism, but sadly for the Jewish people, it's not new. This attack has brought to the surface painful memories and the scars left by a millennia of anti-Semitism and genocide the Jewish people. So in this moment, we must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. I dream a lot, a lot. You can't forget it. Schatzner showing KTSM a photo on his wall of himself with his mother and sister with stars of David on their chest, saying the photo was taken to send to his father, but he doubts he ever received it. And I survived because Many different stories how I survived. I was young, I was 15 years old. But my father never came back from the camps. And says his sister died in a bombing at just 10 years old. The bomb fell and my little sister died. Got suffocated by the bricks. I, me and my mother got digged out, but my mother was the same never again. 